what always amazes me is the just how powerful it is to recognize open intelligence in our own experience and how that recognition of open intelligence in our own experience allows deeper and deeper insight into all of the details of our own experience. It provides a sense of ease, openness and potency amidst the flow of our everyday experience of life. And the instruction as to how we can have that direct experience is, is very, very simple. And it has to be simple. If it was complicated and it needed a lot of thinking about, or it needed a certain set of circumstances, a certain way that we felt, or a certain set of thoughts that we were having, or a certain set of physical experiences, then it simply wouldn't be applicable to all of our experience. So it has to be a really simple instruction so that we can apply it wherever we are, however we're feeling, whatever's going on, whoever we're with, whatever is happening in our lives. So the direct experience of open intelligence is just as simple as to stop thinking for a moment and recognize the intelligence by which all experience is known. When you stop thinking, what remains? There is an alertness, a cognizance, the capacity to know. So identify that for yourself. This is an absolutely key point. You need to identify what's looking in your own experience. Now this is the power of this training. What you will receive is very clear, very direct instructions for you to become familiar with the actual nature of reality in your own direct experience amidst the flow of your everyday life. So you don't need to have a special set of circumstances, you don't need to wear any particular set of clothes or learn any strange way of moving your body or even have a body at all. This is the potency of this practice. And to really see that we have access to a training that will only point you to what is real and to confirm the actual nature of your experience in your own direct experience. This is what we want. We want something that confirms the nature of reality for us in our own experience. So to take short moments of just allowing all of the data, all of your descriptions, all of your thoughts, emotions and sensations, just to be exactly as they are, allows you to relax with everything. And in that moment of complete relaxation, the open intelligence by which everything is known is automatically recognized. It is already the case. It is already looking through your eyes. It is already experiencing everything. So when you allow the focus on descriptions just to relax, open intelligence naturally becomes more obvious. The emphasis naturally shifts from only focusing on the data, the descriptions, thoughts, emotions, sensations, other experiences, to focusing and recognizing the predominance of open intelligence and relying on that intelligence rather than the descriptions. Now, in this training there are many key points and the key points are given because it can be very easy for us to begin to have different ideas about what relying on open intelligence means and how that looks and what the practice of short moments is. The practice is really as simple as just relaxing for a short moment, relaxing mind and body and allowing everything to be exactly as it is. So then we hear that and then maybe we think, okay, right, so that means that I need to, um, I need to allow everything to be as it is. And then you, the data arises, perhaps data of extreme pain or sadness or anger or irritation. And we think, okay, I've got to try and allow that to be as it is. But I, you know, this, this pain is agonizing, whether it's physical pain, it's emotional pain, it's sadness. I can't allow this. I don't want to allow this. It's, 
But that is actually not the instruction. The instruction and the suggestion is to take short moments of just relaxing completely. Not to allow the data, not to welcome the data, not to do anything with the data. Because in these subtle interpretations, there is still actually trying to do something with the data. This is really subtle reification. And reification means actually we're still giving it an independent power and nature rather than, rather than allowing it to be this vast expanse of purely beneficial, potent energy. Already inseparable from open intelligence. Already self-releasing naturally. And so this is why this simple instruction of just complete relaxation is so potent. Everything already is this powerful dynamic display. Everything already is the roar of potent benefit, including your physical pain, including your emotional pain, including your sadness, your anger, your frustration. All of it is this fire to be of benefit. And by allowing it to be as it is, one short moment at a time, that's what you discover. Everything is this, this, this rush of benefit. And when we recognize it as open intelligence, that is what we express. That is what the data inform us of. This is the information that they carry. The information of how we can be these powerful beings that are not cowed by any description, descriptions like fear. Fear becomes the fuel for courageous action because we recognize it as inseparable from open intelligence like the breeze is inseparable from the air, or like the colour blue is inseparable from the sky. Nothing can be taken out from this expanse of intelligence. Nothing. It doesn't matter how, how much you get caught up in the descriptions of what go, what's going on. The descriptions too are the inseparable shine of open intelligence. You relax and allow those to be exactly as they are too. So nothing needs to be done. We are already these powerful, potent human beings, purposed and intended for benefit. And by allowing everything to be as it is, that is what becomes more and more obvious. And it is expressed in our everyday experience of life in an unstoppable way, in a way that we don't need to think about, we don't need to consider. We become accustomed to being these powerful, potent human beings. We have no need to take any notice of any of the labels that have been applied to us anymore. They all self-release naturally. None of them stick. You cannot hold the here and now in place. Even your descriptions about something you don't like, something that really seems to be solid, really seems to be a problem, like my fear, like my physical pain, all of those descriptions are continually changing just part of this dynamic flow. You cannot hold anything in place. So to actually recognize this for yourself and to become comfortable with this seamless flow of experience one short moment at a time allows you to really tap into your power as a human being in a completely relaxed, spontaneous way. And it's just an amazing way to live and my own experience with physical pain was one of, this is a great example for me and uh, I have shared it before, but this illustrates to me completely the, the power and potency of this training. Um, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, I had a, a quite severe physical injury and it um, restricted me very heavily in what I could do for uh, about a year and I hadn't come across Balanced View at that time and this experience for me was one of confusion, of misery, of this spiral of depression and it was a spiral of focusing into the descriptions around my experience. Why has this happened to me? Oh no, it's hurting again. Every time I try and look after myself it seems to get worse again. I'll never be playing for Manchester United and <laughs> just this whole, just this 
endless stream of descriptions about what was going on. Oh, I can't sleep properly now. Oh, I'll feel miserable the next day. Oh, why has this happened to me again? And you know, oh, look at all those bloody happy people out there with their, you know, just this endless commentary of negativity and really believing that these descriptions meant something. <coughs> Focusing in on them from this one sensation of, of, of pain, of extreme pain. But then, a couple of years ago, I had a very similar experience of a, a quite a severe physical injury. And um, it was interesting to watch all of the same data come up. But that was the first difference. I recognized all of the descriptions as data. All of the descriptions. The physical pain. This sharp sensation that I could not ignore. What was this sharp, this, this pain, this excruciating pain that I felt? What was it? Where was it? What really was it? And to explore that from the vantage of open intelligence supported by the Four Mainstays was fascinating. I began to have all of these insights into the nature of pain. The pain was screaming open intelligence at me. And I could allow it to be as it was, it, not, not for any length of time, but just for an instant just for a short moment, and so one short moment of allowing it opened everything out within this description. Opened it out into open intelligence. I didn't suffer from the pain. And what I began to see was that the vast, overwhelming suffering that had happened from any injury in the past was not the actual physical sensations, it was all of my descriptions around them. And these descriptions, the same old familiar ones came up, oh no, why me? You know, why is it I am the only one that ever gets these things, everybody else is really fine and never gets ill and never gets injured and you know, just this madness. And I saw I had a choice there. And I relied on the support that was given in this training, short moments, great. But there were all of these other ways that I could empower the recognition of open intelligence, the written trainings, participating in trainings, listening to the, the media, being in touch with a trainer who could really empower me in this challenging circumstance. And I began to see that I could allow all of this data to just to be exactly as it was. I didn't have to make myself a victim to it anymore. Giving up the right to be a victim. Amazing. So the whole experience of injuring myself quite severely became one of complete empowerment. It became one of naturally increasing compassion for myself, learning how to look after my body. So many insights into that area through this experience. Total compassion and understanding for other people that are going through something similar, opening out and expanding this whole experience. Bringing this bright shine of open intelligence into all of this data. So everything becomes an opportunity for increasing your capacity to recognize open intelligence. It doesn't matter what circumstance you're in. It doesn't matter what data are shining forth. All of them become this opportunity for empowerment. And that is not my experience of life before I came to this training. It was one of struggling with all of the data. Sometimes they were good and sometimes they were bad. When they were good, it was a struggle to work out why they were good and to try and hold on to that experience. And that was always a complete failure because you cannot hold on to the here and now. And when they were bad, trying to work out what I could do to change them, how I could change them into good ones. It was so much work. And as soon as they were good, I knew that that wasn't going to last, so the, the tension was still there. Just total <laughs> tension the whole time. It is funny, but it's kind of tragic as well. It's like a Greek tragedy. <laughs> and um, just to see that now I have a choice. I know where I can go to empower my recognition of open intelligence. I have short moments, but I have a whole range of support that's available to me. And the more I train this up, the more obvious the opportunity that I see in each moment of life. In a, in, a, in a relaxed, easy-going way. But there is just so much potency in there. Even when you relax completely, there is so much going on. So you don't need to try to do anything to bring about this potency. You are already superheroes. 
you're just getting used to it. 